Hey everyone, it's Sebastian. I'm here at Pitti in Florence, Italy with Pisara of Dusita, Parfum Dusita. Hi everyone, so happy to meet you again, Sebastian. Of course. Thank what you for coming to our booth. Of course. What do you have going on this year? This year we had a boutique, right? We just opened it eight months ago and it's going very well. So we have a lot of requests that why don't I do a perfume class? Oh wow, so you're doing classes? Yes, I'm doing short and long atelier for the people who didn't know about perfumery at all or people who already know to blend the ingredients at my atelier. Do it our way. Oh wow, that sounds exciting. So when I come to Paris, you can Yes, we, we can, can do blend it? together. Oh great. Hello Sebastian, thanks for coming to see me. We are here at Pitti. I'm Francesca Bianchi and uh, I'm really glad that you're here because uh, you came to see me last year and uh, I talked about under my skin uh, and this year I am talking about the, my newest release which is uh, the lover's tail so the lover's tail when you spray it on the skin is like a tiger is jumping on you because it's super super animalic it's very leathery I used a lot of pastorium in it so you need to love that kind of, uh, of, of smell. Little by little then uh, it will uh, end up uh, releasing also uh, uh, iris butter, especially jasmine. I did a very narcotic base of jasmine for that, a little bit of rose and, uh, and honey and mimosa. So here the story is uh, two secret lovers uh, encountering. And, uh, and having sex of course uh, uh, but you have the sex the passion uh, also kind of fetish kind of sex but also the tenderness and the human closeness of these people that was the idea I had in mind while developing this perfume now that I smell it after I have you know stayed a little bit more with the, the, the finished product I think uh, to a dandy wearing a large full coat uh, laying uh, on a Chesterfield uh, couch. So these need a very big personality. This means uh, a person with a character. Hi, my name is Timothy Han and I have my fragrance company called Timothy Han Edition. Every fragrance we do is based on a classic piece of literature which I believe has helped shape contemporary society. I'm going to talk to you about our newest fragrance which is called Against Nature. It's based on a book by an author called Heismans. It's not a very well-known book, but it's a very influential book. Uh, Oscar Wilde, it was the basis for Oscar Wilde's Dorian Gray. If you've ever read Dorian Gray, Dorian's always reading something referred to as that poisonous French novel, which is against nature, La Rigourse, as it's originally called. The story behind La Rigourse is, it's about a man who essentially partied too hard, lived a very hedonistic lifestyle, and he decided to move to the countryside and in his mind everything was better artificial he would create artificial grottos in his house and if he had a pet turtle he had to um, shell and crust it with jewels because it made it look better and the only time he had anything natural he would go for flowers and plants that looked artificial the exotic ones that almost looked like wood or whatnot and so what I tried to do with this fragrance is it's the idea of capturing the scent of a fresh sapling which has been broken open and it's layered with the scent of lacquer because everything in Desant's world is lacquered and on top of that there's the scent of metal and blood. I'm Antonio Alessandria, my brand is Antonio Alessandria Parfum. Uh, today we are at PT day number two and uh, so we are just a little bit tired but it's okay uh, and um, I'm launching a new fragrance it's called Fara Farah is a Sicilian word uh, uh, meaning uh, very hot weather. Uh, so uh, the idea behind the fragrance uh, is above all a, a drink that we used to drink during summer when it's very very hot uh, in Sicily. Uh, it's a drink based on sparkling water along with uh, citrus, uh, mint syrup and salt. Uh, so um, the idea is that you, you are going, uh, you are in a hurry because you are very thirsty and you want to drink and you are eager to drink this drink. Uh, you drink uh, just in a swallow 
and uh, the water cool down, uh, goes down on your uh, body. Uh, so uh, the excessive heat uh, of the Sicilian summer uh, let evaporate uh, the smell of the drink uh, along with the smell of your hot body. So it's a central, I think, uh, take uh, on a citrusy fragrance uh, with a salty hint uh, and a musky, amory and woody base. And uh, you can smell like you drink. I'm Rolando. I'm uh, with, uh, with Sana Jardin. We're the world's first socially conscious luxury fragrance house. Uh, We're looking to uh, empower uh, women in their local communities uh, by taking uh, the byproducts of the floral production of the supply chain and creating a series of products that the women can sell in the local markets, supplementing their incomes and improving their lifestyle. We have developed a range of seven fragrances with a master perfumer, Carlos Benai. Uh, it's a luxurious range of eau de parfum, and I would like to show you two of our best sellers. We've got Berber Blonde, uh, which is a, a beautiful uh, citrusy uh, fr fragrance uh, with uh, an orange blossom uh, theme to it. Uh, this is a very uplifting fragrance uh, that automatically transports you to more exotic climes uh, in Morocco. Uh, can be worn throughout the year unisex fragrance. I would also like to, uh, to show you a tiger by her side. Uh, this is a very nice uh, warm uh, amber fragrance uh, that uh, brings uh, amber notes uh, together uh, with, uh, with rose and uh, some cedarwood and some uh, sandalwood. Uh, this is a warm female fragrance uh, that is more suitable to uh, fall and to uh, winter winter season. Hello everybody, I'm Nick Stewart. I'm the founder and creator of Galavant Perfumes uh, from London. We have a collection of city-inspired fragrances, my love of travel, my love of cities, and I'm just releasing my seventh fragrance, which is inspired by Tokyo. So Tokyo by Galavant, out now, and it's a zingy, spicy, woody fragrance that I created with my friend Nicolas Bonneville, who's Parisian and it's an homage to the Japanese incense ceremony, Kodo. With Galavant, I'm always trying to make really beautiful, elegant, wearable perfumes, and I think Tokyo is a great addition to our line. The seven fragrances are all different places. They all feel very different. This is the first incense-based fragrance that I've done, and it's beautiful and comfortable, and for men and women. Hi, I'm Ludmilla. I'm the co-founder of Ido Parfumeur. We are a French-Lebanese perfume brand and based in Beirut. And I'm probably the perfumer of all the creations that we're going to discover together. But today, I want to make a focus on our amazing lingerie collection. This collection is dedicated to romantic, glamorous and sexy women. It's a Middle Eastern gesture that we really wanted to share with the women in any country where they don't feel comfortable. So what is a lingerie collection? The lingerie collection is a collection that you use on your underwear. We have created three scents dedicated to three profiles of women. Rose de Grasse is for the romantic one, La Fleur du Mexique for the sexy one, and Gibson Girls for the dynamic. In Rose de Grasse, we have an amazing accord of green ingredients and roses from Turkey, from Grasse, and from Bulgaria. It gives a beautiful twist to this creation. The second one is La Fleur du Mexique. La Fleur du Mexique, it glorifies one of my most gorgeous ingredients, which is the tuberose. It's very hot, very sexy, very sensual. You really feel unique when you wear this scent on your underwear or on your linen. The third one, Gibson Girls. The Gibson Girls is for the modern, it's for the women who today try to be a woman, a wife, a mother, a workaholic sometimes. And for these, we have worked on a perfume which is very creamy, rich with peach and with gardenia. Hello, my name is Randy Escher. I'm the owner or the new owner of the old brand Zero. Uh, uh, it used to be an American brand that existed about 100 years ago. It was quite successful and uh, one of the first niche brands at that time. Um, set up in, in New York, um, really nice uh, at that time. And um, I bought the name, I bought the company, and um, I set this brand new up uh, with six new creations. Um, old creations, we kept the old names, and uh, we made an interpretation uh, of the Art Deco um, bottles, um, because the brand was set up during the Art Deco time, 
and uh, the result is a timeless uh, Madeco um, bottle and um, the perfumes you find inside um, it's uh, niche fragrances uh, it was a totally new interpretation of uh, by keeping the old French names so for example uh, Le Chypre de Nile um, uh, it has, uh, has the scent of the Nile of the Nile River that appears when you're on a boat uh, the greeny flushy areas it's a fantastic scent so what we also have it's a Chevalier de, de la Nuit this is uh, the night of the night which is a uh, which is a really uh, nice um, patchouli and uh, um, jasmine uh, scent it's fantastic for men and for women Giovanni San Marco from the brand San Marco from Switzerland I'm presenting here a Petit Fragrance and my new fragrance called Daria Melico Meida the name is the name of the woman I fell in love and uh, I created this fragrance for her. It's dedicated to her, inspired by her and to her beauty. And I choose the gardenia because it's the... Um, I see her as a gardenia woman, so precious and delicate as a flower. Meliko made the, the second part of the name is ancient Greek from a verse of Alceus and means with a smile as sweet as the honey. So, smile as sweet as the honey, as a smile of Daria. And um, it contains honey in the... Um, fragrance and uh, I use a special uh, honey called uh, honey signature and uh, gardenia reconstitution I made uh, a reconstitution of gardenia trying to recreate the smell of the real flower blooming flower and then I use jasmine grandiflorum and uh, I try to create a bright uh, fragrance which express uh, the, the beauty the truth and the harmony of this woman I'm Marie Lombard, I'm the owner of Atelier Oblique. Um, we have a um, collection of uh, scented candles, which I call the Alphabet Collection. Uh, these are 27 different scents, uh, all dedicated to situations in my life and um, things I love. And this year I started with um, Eau de Parfum. We started with four different uh, scents. One is Marble, uh, Marble Sea, Saint, uh, closer and white light. Uh, in October we're going to launch the new one, it's called Bohemian Woods. It's a woody uh, incense, saffron and warm scent which is dedicated to the idea of immigration. Uh, I am Olivier Giorbano. Um, uh, it's, um, I developed my collection since 14 years, inspired by the legend and symbolic of stones. Uh, and this time I launched the number 14. Um, it's a very special moment for me because it's a kind of uh, evolution in my collection. Uh, this one, the name is Pirit Anatra. It's a kind of uh, marvelous formula between three things. Pirit is the name of the stone, Anna is the surname, and Tra it's in Italian, it means uh, between us or between the things. And it's also a kind of um, uh, dream. Um, I changed for the this time the bottle uh, because it was also a very symbolic act and um, there is always on the bottle um, um, calligraphy, very old calligraphy in, Armen, in uh, Syriac Aramean and means at the beginning. Um, the perfume is um, with wood, uh, neroli, tobacco, uh, lentisk, it's a very alchemist uh, perfume. My name is Jean-Pierre Marois and I'm the creator of Les Bains Gerbois, the founder of Les Bains Gerbois. Although the brand was created in 1885 originally, but I just revamped it uh, a bit more than a year ago. Uh, it has a very long history and it's uh, very familiar to the Parisian because first it was the best spa in Paris in the 19th century and early 20th century. Then in uh, 1978, it opened as a nightclub. Same year, then Studio 54 was uh, opened in New York, and it was the Parisian answer to, to the Studio 54. That's how people like to uh, define it. And uh, in 2015, uh, we changed it completely, and I turned it into a hotel. So now it's a five-star hotel, nightclub, still bar, restaurant. And across the street, we have this incredible store where we uh, sell, among other things, uh, our new line of um, beauty product because we resurrected in Bangarbo. Last year we launched uh, four fragrances. 
Uh, each fragrance relates to a year of the long history of the place. And now we're about to launch. Uh, it will be available uh, in uh, October, November. 1900 Leur de Proust, because Marcel Proust was a customer of the spa uh, back in the days. And um, this one we developed with a great nose called uh, Jérôme Epinette. And uh, it's the idea is uh, Proust going to Le Bagarbois for, uh, for a tea time with, with his best friend and whispering and sharing uh, confidences. 1900 Lord of Proust has the smell of a, of a pomelo and uh, leather. It's very sexy, it's very addictive and uh, we're very proud of that. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Ten. I'm the worldwide general manager for the Harmonist Perfume. Uh, the Harmonist is a Maison de Parfum based in Paris, France. I'm very happy to be here today to talk to you about our latest introduction, which will officially launch next week on September 19th. We're showing it on display here at the Petit Fragrant Show for Niche Perfumes. So I'm happy to introduce you here today to our 11th fragrance. Uh, it's called Yin Transformation. We're extremely proud of it. Uh, it breaks our rules a bit by breaking away from the black and white into a beautiful opalescent blue bottle, although it still follows the tradition of our uh, shape of our harmonist bottles, uh, which are actually reminiscent of the Chinese alchemist bottles from several thousand years ago. So what makes this brand very, very different is um, it, it, it deals with the transition from a uh, yin, which is the softer side of the yin and yang, and then transitions into the direction of the young. And um, this particular fragrance was uh, decided by Madame Lola Tilieva to have a uh, top note of a very, very unique flower from the Redwood Forest in uh, Northern California. It's the only perfume in the world that Jivadan has created that has this Calypso orchid. It only actually blooms for six weeks of the year in the Redwood Forest. And so that's the top note of this very unique fragrance. And then it's followed with Mandarin and Bulgarian Rose, which of course is a very precious uh, ingredient. And then it blends into middle notes of almond milk and Lang Lang and Iris. And Iris is also a very, very valuable and one of the most expensive ingredients to produce for the perfume industry, both to extract and to uh, make. And so this has some most valuable flowers um, that one can uh, obtain in the perfume world. And then at the base notes uh, dry down into white musk and sandalwood. Um, so this is a, a beautiful parfum, it's not an EDP, so this has uh, close to 40% essential oil in it. It's extremely rare in terms of its ingredients, and as with all of our Harmonist fragrances, available only in very select retailers around the world, in Barney's in New York, Harrods in London, and others uh, soon to develop over the next uh, 6 to 12 months. Hi, I'm Luca Maffei. We are at Pitti Fragranze, and I'm the perfumer behind the new black laboratory olfactivo Sacreste. It's an incense. Uh, it's a deep incense based on three different quality because you have the hyper incense on the top note to give the uh, freshness and spicy aspect of the incense. There is the raisin to give the heart, so something very comfortable, very round. And on the bottom note, there is the third quality, it's a speciality from a raw material company based in brass, it's Fuman Sans, and it's a barnet raisin incense that gives a long lasting to, on the skin, and it makes it more round and very powerful. Hello, I am Mr. Rebachi from Maison Rebachi Paris. We have a French brand of perfume and uh, four new fragrances with uh, the first is Feu Patchouli from Bertrand du Chauffour. This is a spicy, very spicy in top note and patchouli in middle note. This is a mixed fragrance with a rose aqua. And the second one is uh, Joyeuse Osmond from Maurice Roussel. It's a uh, aqua of bouquet white flower and uh, very sweet abricot and the uh, third one is Bois d'Enfant from Karine Chevalier is a pine wood nut 
with uh, Muir and Rose, very woodsy in the middle knot. And the fourth is a rose rebachi from Wondamami. It's an oriental and occidental rose, very powdery rose and very sweet in middle knots.